Hey guys and welcome back to I Like Watches and welcome to the unboxing of an incredible new Hamilton watch. This watch has been once again lent to the channel for unboxing and a review by Ryan from Francis and Gay. I've put some details in my video description for Francis and Gay's website but also an email address for Ryan. Should you be tempted to make any purchases from Francis and Gay and they distribute to the European market, make sure you email Ryan first and tell him I said hi. Right! In this video, I'm just going to be unboxing this watch, giving you a little sneaky peek at it before I prepare for a full review in a few weeks' time. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Can you believe I've been reviewing watches for almost two years and this is the first Hamilton I've had on any one of my channels? I'm a little bit embarrassed about that, to be honest. That's unacceptable, isn't it? There's always been other watches that sort of jumped in front of the Hamiltons that I've been looking at. And um, yeah, I've just kept putting them off. But I popped up to uh, Francis and Gay a couple of days ago and this watch was recommended by Ryan. And funnily enough, the rep for Hamilton was in the store and I asked him about this watch. He said it's a sort of unisex holiday watch. It's not a proper dive watch. It's only got 100 meters of water resistance. It's got quite a sort of feminine color scheme being all white. But I've got to say it was the one that stuck out to me in the shop window. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. But it is certainly a watch I would gladly own and wear. And in fact, I've put some feelers out to Vario um, to see if they've got a red leather strap that I can wear on this watch when I review it because um, oh, that white dial and white bezel insert with a red leather strap would look sensational. So um, yeah, hopefully in the full review, we'll be able to see this watch on some lovely alternative straps. Right, here we go. Let's take a look at this watch. Cool watch box, by the way. Really, really nice. And oh man, cool color scheme as well. Look at that gray on the inside of the watch box. And um the all white watch. Honestly, I think that is so, so cool. I'm gonna get the watch out, take off any plastic. I'll be back in a mo. Right, I've taken off the few bits of plastic that were on the clasp and I've got to say the first thing that struck me in the store when I took a look at this watch um, and what I've just been reminded of um, when I've taken the plastic off is the level of finishing. I'm not so sure it's coming across particularly well on the camera. But the high polished surfaces running down the shoulders of that center link on the bracelet are so clean and crisp. It's the same as this shell on the clasp. Look at that. Um, it's amongst the best finishing I think I've ever, ever seen. It really is. Yeah, um, I was impressed with it in the shop when I saw it. And um, I'm just as impressed now looking at it once again. I mean, it is just impeccably finished all of the engraving and the brushing is close to perfect and look at the finishing of the inside of that clasp i can see already what the fuss is about when it comes to hamilton i love this color scheme i don't know what it is about the all white i think i can just see it on a red leather strap and um, bezel action is um nice actually 60 click i believe um, very positive clicks as you can feel or, see, or hear I should say you won't be able to feel it I'm the one feeling it you can hear it and see it alignment is yeah pretty much spot on everything on the dial seems to line up nicely it is quartz and the quartz second hand is hitting the markers what a relief that's always a worry when you unbox a quartz watch that bezel insert looks like it is ceramic and you've got a sort of silvery finish on the markers and the numerals the case is predominantly brushed by the looks of it which is interesting given um, the level of detail on the bracelet and the buckle or clasp and um, we've got a high polished crown decent sized crown actually it is a wind wind in crown obviously uh, it's a quartz so that won't do anything let me just have a little play yeah lovely and smooth feels nice Swiss made either side of that six a sort of holiday watch um, is what it was being sort of promoted as by the rep and um, yeah I can see why you go on holiday you go somewhere sunny you wear a lot of white stuff this would look awesome on holiday male or female it really is a unisex watch I think um, I would absolutely 100% wear this. In fact, 
I think I might struggle to hand this back to Ryan. Right, let's show you the loom then. Um, it is a sort of swimming watch, 100 meters of water resistance. So you could absolutely take this swimming um, screw down crown, screw down case back. So I've no doubt this would cope with a decent amount of um, swimming and shallow diving. Right, let's... Uh... Oh, and there you go. Lovely. Icy Blue BGW9. Looks fantastic, actually. Um, love the shape of the loom on those hands. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, nice shape to those markers at the uh, 12, 3, 6, and 9 as well. Right, let's finish going over the rest of this watch then. Uh, you've got female end links. Decent fit. Um, a little bit of wobble on the end links, but not much at all. Uh, predominantly brushed a bracelet. Obviously, you've just got those high polished um, chamfered edges either side of that center link. Yeah, beautifully finished clasp. I've said that already. The brushing is really nice um, on the case and on the bracelet. They haven't skimped and saved on the finishing of this watch at all. A little bit of pop and shine on the outside of that bezel. That's a high polished finish. The grip isn't um, the best uh, and the action is quite... Um, tough it's not the lightest resistance but very positive clicks I mean you can see that bezel jumping um, with every click um, yeah a little bit a touch of back play but not much at all this certainly isn't the Hamilton that I was expecting to feature on my channel first but I've got to say it is a beautiful little watch they have some very popular well-known models that I think I was anticipating picking up first but um, yeah when I saw this in the shop window couldn't resist it fantastic watch thanks again Ryan from Francis and Gay and thanks ever so much for watching guys I do really really appreciate it take care see you again very soon